Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Katie grills Bill and Poppy, and Hope fantasizes about Finn, while Steffi warns Brooke to stay away from him. Steffi tells Brooke at Forrester that she is really concerned about Hope's close relationship with Finn. Brooke explains that they are friends and that is what friends do. Steffi claims it's more than that and she knows it. Their parents are married, and they attend weddings and funerals together. Steffi comments that Hope lacks common sense and should not have let Deacon influence her perception of Sheila. Brooke drifts off, wondering about Hope's admission that she has feelings for Finn. Steffi wonders if she can even hear her right now. I need your daughter to keep her feelings to herself. In the cabin, Hope expresses her gratitude to Finn for stopping by to check on Beth. It's a big relief, and now her daughter can sleep soundly thanks to him. Finn welcomes her and encourages her to call him whenever she has any concerns. Hope expresses gratitude. I appreciate it, and I appreciate you. Finn expresses his want to come over. He could see she was worried. It's all good. Hope wonders. What can't you fix? Finn claims that when you work in an ER you see everything. Hope believes her daughter is on the mend, and it is all because to him. Dr. Finnegan. Poppy, who lives at Bill's house, can't believe she's there and recounts how it happened. Bill warns her not to grow used to it. He wants to take her away to his yacht, the Stella Maris. Poppy believes she walked into a dream. If they had met sooner, they may have reared Luna together. But the anticipation of what's to come. They kiss. Katie steps in and says, Oh, I'm sorry. Alfred at the guard shack allowed me in. She informs Bill. I hear congratulations are in order. Bill replies, Yes, I am Luna's father. Poppy adds, Bill and I have a daughter. Heather Tom. Katie informs Bill that she is merely trying to figure out why he is only now learning that Luna is his daughter. Poppy claims she didn't know. Katie believes she must have suspected. Bill claims he approached her about it, but she denied it. She was terrified. Katie inquires. Afraid of what? Bill responds. Her love for me. Katie muses. Oh. Don Diamant forecasts difficulties for Boppy. Brooke believes Steffi is going too far, so she prohibits them from being friendly with Finn. Hope was simply stating that it is possible that Sheila had changed. Would you take an open mind? Steffi inquires. Brooke responds. No? Steffi acknowledges Sheila's psychotic tendencies. Steffi doesn't mind Brooke being around Finn, but she doesn't want Hope getting into her husband's brain when she is being controlled by Deacon and Sheila. More Sheila and Victor team up? In the cabin, Finn offers Hope instructions for caring for Beth and reminds her that she can phone him if she needs anything. They talk about how stressful it is when your children are unwell. Hope describes him as a miracle worker. He retorts, I wouldn't say that. Hope says, I would. More. Tanner Novlin teases after wedding shocks. Katie muses at Bill's apartment. Oh, we're already using the L word, I see. Poppy wonders how she could not adore Bill. A remarkable man and the father of her kid. Katie asks Bill if he is ready for Poppy and Luna to move in. He grunts. I wouldn't have asked otherwise. Katie observes. Well, look at you. A completely new family. Bill wraps his arm around Poppy, who gives Katie a wicked smile. Don Diamant Romy parks. In the main office, Steffi suggests Finn give his birth mother a chance. Brooke claims that the moment Sheila makes a mistake, Hope and Finn will perceive her differently. Steffi wonders if they should wait until something bad happens. God forbid that anything happens to Hope or Beth. That is why you need to talk to your daughter, she advises Brooke. You are her mother. She will listen to you. You need to get through to her. I hope she's not thinking clearly. Hope tells Finn in the cabin that she hopes he doesn't get into trouble with Steffi, who doesn't want him there. Finn assures her that they all care about Beth. If she doesn't have any more inquiries, he should leave. Hope wants to know how she can repay him. If you ever need anything, just please let me know. This meant a lot. Thank you and continue to prove you're such an incredible man. She pulls him into an embrace and refuses to let go. They separate, and he gives her an odd look before departing. Bill tells Katie that it wasn't his goal to keep Poppy a secret. Katie admits she was surprised to walk in and find Poppy and Luna making themselves at home. 
Bill admits that this impacts Will, and that they need to speak with him. Katie is confident that once he gets past his initial astonishment, he will be delighted to meet Luna. Bill mutters, I have a daughter and it's all thanks to Poppy. Katie rolls her eyes. Don Diamant Romy parks. Steffi asks Brooke in the main office to try to persuade Hope to see reason. That's all I'm asking. She walks away and Brooke flashes back to Hope, telling her not to fall for Steffi's husband. You can't knowingly go after Steffi's husband. She murmurs, I'm trying Steffi, believe me. It's only slightly more complicated than you imagine. More. When did Katie and Carter break up? In the cabin, Hope cleans up and considers cuddling and holding Finn. A knock arrives on the door. Finn returns since he had forgotten his phone. She welcomes him in and expresses gratitude for his visit. It allows her to express to him what she has been feeling for quite some time. Finn smiles and says, Okay. Hope needs him to understand how much of an influence he has had on her life. It goes beyond just helping with the migraines and Beth. It is more than that. Much more. Finn inquires, How so? Hope believes she understands him and vice versa. I have to thank you for demonstrating how a man should be. I am loyal, truthful, committed, caring, empathetic, and loving, and I can't stop thinking about you although knowing I shouldn't. I am dreaming about you. I want you. Please tell me if you feel the same way. They suddenly start kissing passionately, and Hope tears his shirt open. Katie informs Bill that she is merely trying to figure out why he is only now learning that Luna is his daughter. Poppy claims she didn't know. Katie believes she must have suspected. Bill claims he approached her about it, but she denied it. She was terrified. Katie inquires. Afraid of what? Bill responds. Her love for me. Katie muses. Oh. Don Diamant forecasts difficulties for Boppy. Brooke believes Steffi is going too far, so she prohibits them from being friendly with Finn. Hope was simply stating that it is possible that Sheila had changed. Would you take an open mind? Steffi inquires. Broker expands. No? Steffi acknowledges Sheila's psychotic tendencies. Steffi doesn't mind Brooke being around Finn, but she doesn't want Hope getting into her husband's brain when she is being controlled by Deacon and Sheila. More Sheila and Victor team up? In the cabin, Finn offers Hope instructions for caring for Beth and reminds her that she can phone him if she needs anything. They talk about how stressful it is when your children are unwell. Hope describes him as a miracle worker. He retorts, I wouldn't say that. Hope says, I would. Thanks for watching if you like this video so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update. Bill tells Katie that it wasn't his goal to keep Poppy a secret. Katie admits she was surprised to walk in and find Poppy and Luna making themselves at home. Bill admits that this impacts Will, and that they need to speak with him. Katie is confident that once he gets past his initial astonishment, he will be delighted to meet Luna. Bill mutters, I have a daughter and it's all thanks to Poppy. Katie rolls her eyes.